As the Swale Cup final gets ever nearer, WRU TV has taken a closer look at the two finalists. Ryan Jones, the Swale Cup rugby ambassador, visited Llanelli and this year's surprise package, Carmarthen Quinns, to gauge the mood in both camps ahead of the big game. Hi right, fellas, we've just come down from a very buoyant park of Scarlet. They're uh, looking forward to the encounter. How uh, are we feeling here? Well, to be fair, you know, we've played them twice this year. They, you know, they are beating us twice, both, both sort of uh, two uh, very close games, really, uh, which well, both could have gone either way. Um, you know, they are the Cup Kings, I suppose. So, uh, you know, I guess they have every right to be uh, to be held as favourites, but it's all on the day. You know, we did, you know, we did very well against Ponty, and uh, if we if we perform again exactly with, with that sort of intensity, I, I got no, I got no reason to believe that we won't beat them. Simple as. I don't know what else thinks. This Swale Cup is one of those cup, cup, cup competitions that seems to bring the best out of people, doesn't it? Definitely does. Well, as you can say, as you can tell, that um, the result we played against Ponte, you know, anything can happen on the day. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Have you, apart from you, big guy? Yeah. Have you uh, have you played the stadium before? No, no, no it's no. first time for. First time. Mm -hmm. I played there. I, yeah, I played there with Neath back. Oh, Christ, about ten years ago now, when uh, Gary Teichman. Uh, Guy Teichman's new ball beat us in the final. Uh, played out the Blues a couple of times. Um, other than that, uh, I'd, I don't think I won there, no. No, no I don't think I ever won there, so it'd be nice to uh, to go back and actually win a game. So it'd be nice. Forward to it. Hey, 2001, remember losing to Newport for Bridge End down there? That's right. Yes. Next exercise yes. those demons, big guy? Yes. No, hopefully it won't be the same, bro. Uh, um, <laughs> no, we, we will call it confident, like the boy said. Um, you know, we, we're a humble side, you know, um, underdogs. And we, we actually play better when we're underdogs, you know, going to, to, a, uh, to a game where um, they're not expected to win. Um, but no, it's a, you know, we've had a good season, I think, you know, and I think to sum it up, uh, you know, um, this win will be, will be everything for us, I think. You know, we're a humble bunch. We do work hard in training. We work hard, you know, work hard for each other. You know, we're all good mates. How are you fellas having a rest today? Apart from us lazy people, in the, <laughs> us older lazy people. I think you're uh, blowing a bit too big, guy. We've probably been saying that. I had no choice. Day. I think I've done the last two weeks of my. Well, I'm using my Joker cards, really. <laughs> but you know, I'm, you know, as you know, I think you know, sort of good teams, good team spirit. You know, tend to get you through tight games. So you know, especially in finals. You know, obviously a lot of boys haven't been there before, but it's at times like that when. Your back against the walls. You know, last ten minutes of the game could be close. When you know, you, you know, you're looking on for your mates then. And you know, I think we've got a squad. You know, for more than capable of, uh, you know, of doing that really. So, what is the preparation for the next few days? Like you were uh, leading up to? Well, yeah, dread to say, but we've got fitness most of this week because uh, <laughs> I think most of the other teams, like Kenneth, are playing. Uh, you know, they're still playing, so we need the fitness, I think. Um, but uh, heading into next week, I think it'll be just obviously more game-related. You know, uh, focus on the game and tactics really. Um, you're not going to learn anything new now, are you? No, no, it's not, mate. It's, it's, it comes from the heart, this game, you know? And it's a big derby, so it's, it's a derby game. It is a final, so I think it makes it the extra bit special. Guys, obviously, we've got, uh, we've got a fair range of ages, yeah? There's some fantastic history around this, uh, this cup, yeah? <laughs> it's harsh. Yeah, it's just, harsh. Uh, it's bar graph, it's, it? <laughs> just wondering what, uh, what fond memories you've got of past competitions and, and even this one for you guys. Uh, uh, sorry, me personally, <laughs> just obviously fond memories of, of, of playing in the stadium, but... You know, there's demons to exercise because, like I said earlier, you know, we, you know, we did lose that final to uh, to Newport uh, with Neath back then. But you know, as a, as an occasion, it's you know, it's fantastic. It, I think it brings it brings the whole Welsh rugby out really. And I think everybody, you know, from 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 all levels of rugby, sort of dream about playing the Millennium Stadium. So you know, it's great for uh, it's great for a lot of old guys who, who haven't been there. To touch on what Tristan said, you know, it's perfect. I think. Um it's what Swale Cup is all about, uh, you know, no superstars, you know, and it's, everything's unexpected, you know. So it's back to the, if you call it old school rugby, you know, there's, it's a, a kind of rugby where people love it, it's passionate, you know, it's not about the money, it's, you know, I'm not directing it anywhere, right? But, uh, <laughs> you know, but it's, uh, but it's pretty much, you know, it's all passionate kind of rugby and, um, you know, uh, plays just kind of, you know, happen and, and it's, yeah, I think that's what uh, kind of brings up um, in players at these kind of games. I think, so, sorry, <clears throat> I think Ali was saying as well, because you know, obviously we're in the final, but, but we played Blackwood in the I think it was a quarter final, yeah. and it took a, like a last minute try. I think we were into sort of five minutes in, in, into injury time to actually win the game. I think we won 22-21 or something like that. So you know, and, and, you know, they division one. So it just shows how you know on small margins and how, you know how you know how much it means to you know to all these clubs cup to get there. You know, and it's cup rugby. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just all in the day. And obviously, sort of two games on, we were in the Millennium Stadium, whereas. You know, sort of one second later, and we could have easily been up the cup. So it's it's just a funny game, as they say. You know. Well, all the best, fellas. Yeah, cheers, man.
Join us May the 8th for Swaylet Cup Finals Day, the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. Tickets are still available for Swaylet customers. Visit the Swaylet website. And for everyone else, visit the WRU website and get them quick.